Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my videos. You guys just saw a sneak peek of my Inuyasha drawing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. But I wanted to post it again on my YouTube. So today we are drawing Gear 5 Luffy from One Piece. This was requested by Amamia.r on my Instagram. Uh, this person was one of my winners, and so this was what was requested for their drawing. So, I have not really seen all this anime. I've watched bits and pieces of it. I've watched some se seasons of it. So, I was kind of really interested in the Gear 5 because I was like, what is this? Like, he goes Super Saiyan or something? I had no idea. And when this was requested of me to draw, that I thought, well, I can do my best. It's not really my art style, but I found it as kind of a challenge. It's like, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to draw this Gear 5 Luffy. So uh, I used the pictures you saw earlier as my reference, and I kind of stuck true to that reference. I, added, I changed a little bit with the swirlies of the hair and the clouds, I guess, that are around him because I wanted to really put my style in it and I was really happy that I did this because I loved how it turned out. Another thing that this was also a challenge for is because he has like probably like 2,000 abs. <laughs> so I had to draw the abs to where they looked good and I, I have struggled in the past with male anatomy. So this was kind of a brush up on that a little bit and I would love to draw more male characters with awesome abs and, you know, perfect bodies, I guess. <laughs> so I did enjoy the challenge. This was amazing and so much fun to draw. And I was so proud of myself on how it turned out. I feel like Luffy has a lot of um, very, he doesn't have as many sharp edges. It's more round. There's a lot more round, but there's still sharpness to his character in some areas. Like, like I said, like his abs have, have sharp edges. He's got sharp edges around his jaw a little bit, but he also has a round face. So I try to incorporate the roundness of his face in this. So that's kind of what I focused on was really trying to get that, I don't know, that smile that it kind of came out a little creepy to be honest with y'all. Uh, I felt like the initial reference was a little bit, he was a little bit more, I don't know, on the, the creepy mischievous side. So I did see the anime part when he gets gear five and it's kind of cartoony. So I didn't feel like I captured that. I wanted to capture more of the series Luffy, which is, I'm not sure that's what gear five is. So I'm still kind of learning what all that's about. And I think that that it's really cool that he hits gear five. So I was pretty impressed with the anime and what they did with it. But I, I kind of, I felt like, like I said, it was kind of cartoony the way they did it. So I decided just, I wanted to stick to more of my art style and I, I prefer the more serious art style than super cartoony. I guess some of my stuff is kind of cartoony, but I really wanted to draw this with, I guess color it with really bright, vibrant colors. I wanted it to really pop, especially his hair, and and it looked like in the initial reference that it had a lot of like fire or something in the background, so I wanted to kind of incorporate that. Uh, I really, really liked the reference, and I kind of wanted to stay as true to it as I could, but in my style, again, I did a lot of more, I think what's called hatching. I like pen art, so I kind of stuck true to that, and then I saw there was kind of some stars in the back, so I added some sparkles, as you can kind of see. So overall with this piece, I give it a 10 out of 10 for what I did. I think it turned out better than what I expected just because it's not really my style in particular, but I, I think I did great and she loved it. So that's all that's important really. So I added an extra art piece that I did today. Well, I did recently. I saw a lot of artists on Instagram doing this piece from Lord Grease. Gris? I'm sorry if I don't pronounce y'all's names right. I apologize, but I try. So they were doing this, draw this in your own style. And 
I saw a lot of artists also drawing, doing this competition, so I decided to join in. I love green, so I feel like I haven't drawn a lot of monochromatic stuff or like one color uh, pictures with a lot of just one or two colors. And so I kind of wanted to, I kind of want to get used to drawing like that. Because I did this reel where it said, show me a blue piece, show me a pink piece, whatever. And I realized how much I didn't really stick to one color very well. So I kind of want to draw more drawings. So this was a good, this is also a good challenge. I really, really start to true to my style with this. And I'm really happy that I did. I didn't copy too much. Like, I didn't really, I felt like I didn't really copy with this one. This one, I just, I... I saw Laura Griss's idea of what was trying to be portrayed and I really wanted to just focus on how to do that idea in my style because I felt like the initial picture had a lot more hair strands and I wanted to stick to true to my anime type style. So I did less hair strands. I did more of my kind of choppy little hair, cutesy hairstyle and man i really loved how this one turned out as a whole so i have to say the only thing i would have changed or i, I really want to focus on getting better at is the flowers uh, I, I felt like the flowers came out a little bit meh they were okay uh, the shape the shapes were a little bit off in my opinion but overall i think the piece turned out excellent and i was so happy to do it I know I don't always show my sketching portions of my videos uh, because sometimes I think it's just they're long and, and sometimes I, it's a lot of maneuvering and messing with the shapes because sometimes I'll draw it it'll look ugly and then I'll redraw on top of it or I'll, I'll erase it's a lot of correction so that's why I show you guys a little bit more of the line art portion. I think I'm going to stop doing that and I'm going to start showing you all the sketching portion because the sketching portion isn't always pretty. And I think that that's important to, sh to show because you, you have to take you have to get the initial shapes down. And then what you do is you refine them and you refine them and you refine them. And then you eventually draw the end product of what you like. Some artists, they do it a lot where they refine it, refine it, refine it. I, I, I tend to just... When I do my sketching phase, I'm sketching just on that layer. And I will refine, I'll erase, I'll, I'll write over it, I'll erase. But but I use a whole nother layer when I do my line art and I do my shading. And then I use multiple layers with the actual color. So I think, I think I'm going to show you guys more of the messy process of drawing. I've kind of skipped on that because I felt like it just added a lot more to the video that may not be is interesting but maybe I'm thinking maybe it's more interesting to draw or to see the sketch process because it's the sketch in my opinion the sketch process and the line art process are probably more important than the color itself because if you're if your shapes aren't good and if the shapes don't look right then the color is just you're just basically putting what do they say like makeup on a on a pig or I guess the term is lipstick on a pig so basically what I'm trying to say is if your line art and your shapes don't look good and you're trying to put something shiny like shiny colors shiny things you know whatever it is the shapes still don't look good and you're just basically not getting the fundamentals down and, and personally I think fundamentally if you don't have good shapes or if the the picture itself like the actual line art and the shapes themselves don't look good then putting something shiny on it is not going to make it better it's still a pig basically is what i'm trying to say with that so as messy as it seems in my sketching i think it is important to also see the sketching visu visibly ah, i can't say that word visibly <laughs> so that you guys can get an idea of what it takes to get to from point a to point b to get to the end product because sometimes sketching and drawing is kind of messy and that's okay. I think that all the stages are important, but I think, again, the most important is your sketch process and then the line art ultimately. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here are two awesome drawings and then you also got to see a sneak peek of next drawing that I will be posting on YouTube. And you guys have a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day.